Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, yesterday was absolutely fantastic. It was a 9 out of 10 day and I need to share it with you. Right, number one, I started some new work. You notice the background has changed behind me. That is because I'm working for the next couple of weeks decorating. I spent yesterday and today just stripping wallpaper. Uh, pretty boring, but it feels good to be a man at work again. Uh, it got me down a little bit sitting around at home. I don't think that's for me. Just time for your mind to think all the time. Uh, there's only so much Top Gear you can watch in a day as well. And the rest of the daytime TV is rubbish, if I'm honest with you. With the exception of Storage Hunters. I got mildly addicted to that. Anyway, so I'm working again. It feels good. You know, I feel like a proper man again. My mind is ticking away properly. I'm having loads of ideas for videos and stuff. I think it's going to improve my channel as well, being back at work. So that feels good. Number two. Thrones! Thrones! It was brilliant last night. It's been brilliant, this whole new series, to be honest with you. And last night was no exception. It started, we had Jon Snow meeting Daenerys Stormborn, or Khaleesi, as I prefer to call her. I think she probably prefers to be known as Khaleesi as well, you know, old school, back to her roots. Anyway, the two of them met, it was a sizzling scene, popping back and forth at each other. She's all like, oh, I am the mother of dragons, the first of my name, Daenerys Stormborn, kneel before me and, you know, help me win the Iron Throne. And he's all like, shut up, you know, I don't care about all of that rubbish, there's an army of the bloody undead marching upon Westeros, you know, I need to get out there and save the bloody world. He was having none of it, it was brilliant. A little bit of sexual tension between the two of them. I know he's her brother or her uncle or something, but they are Targaryens. They like to keep it in the family, so watch that space. Talking of keeping it in the family, Cersei. She was back last night. Uncle Euron, the crow's eye, returned victorious with Asher Greyjoy as his prisoner and the Sand Snakes. Um, I'm still annoyed at Theon, for a start. little cockless wonder for jumping in the sea when he could have saved his sister. Uh, but it was interesting. Uh, Euron did confirm that Cersei likes a finger up the bum bum during Boom Boom. Not surprised, if I'm honest with you, if any woman's going to like to have a, you know, bum bum being boom boomed. Uh, it's going to be her, isn't it? Dirty birdie. Uh, she also resumed relations with her brother last night. Not sure what that's about. He's got a big gold hand now. The fingers are probably big and chunky on it. Maybe that's something to do with her anal relief that she craves. I don't know, but it was exciting. Uh, we also, we had a little bit of fighting. Um, the Unsullied, they're in danger. Jamie's been clever. He's a good commander now. Uh, we had the return, slightly disappointing, of Bran to Winterfell. I was hoping it was going to be Arya, not Bran. Uh, there's just something about Bran now. He used to be funny. He used to be fun character. He's just a knobhead now. Comes back with his kind of face that looks like he's morphed into a mixture of the four Beatles. He's got this little smug look on his face like his farts don't smell. I am the scram, the three-eyed raven. Sort of slappy, stupid face. Your farts, your farts stink, mate. They, all of our farts smell. Yours too. Anyway, um, we also uh, we ended the episode really with the death of a much-loved character, the Queen of Hearts, Lady Elena. Uh, it's very sad, very sad to see her go. Yet she did manage to tell Jamie that she was responsible for Joffrey's death, which will wind up Cersei. I mean, Joffrey was a massive knobhead. He was a right annoying little dickhead. Um, so that's all good. That's all good. Yeah, it was just exciting. Um, the other good thing that happened to me yesterday was I ordered a takeaway, an Indian takeaway, to accompany Game of Thrones. Now, with my Indians, I'm quite rigid, quite structured. I always order um, uh, lamb boomer, uh, chicken jail frazy, pilau rice, which I make a wall of down the middle of the plate to separate the two main dishes. And I normally have a side dish of matta paneer, which is Indian cheesy peas, um, all accompanied by a nice peshwari naan. So put my order in and the Indian turned up and they sent me a free side dish, a Bombay potato, which was a nice surprise and a nice touch by them. Uh, yeah, it was just a really good night. You know, good entertainment is amazing. Um, after watching Game of Thrones, I was literally so excited. I was just bouncing around my living room, thrusting away. You know, if there'd been a woman there, it wasn't my mum, I would have taken her, you know, left her physically spent on the floor after three or four times a boom boom she would have been you know exhausted i could have jumped up afterwards and carried on bouncing around the house that is the effect that good entertainment can have on you and thank you to game of thrones for giving us that gift um right i better get on because i'm on my lunch break and i've still got a sausage roll to eat uh, it's, it's all going well though it's great to be working again i feel inspired again my mind's working again videos will be returning if there's something you want me to talk about react to watch or whatever leave it in the comments below and i will try to make that happen